has this had an impact on, on at least some people, um, you know, making a decision maybe not to, to come back there if, if they uh, have been uh, tagged or, or told not to yeah. stay there anymore, issued a, yeah. a trespass warning? Has that had a, 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 you know, I guess what's in the legal community called a chilling effect on, on what you folks decide to do on individuals? I mean, I think that's, that's the city's intention, is to cause this chilling effect and just get it to go away. Um, whether the protest will always take the same form at Thomas Square remains to be seen, but Occupy Honolulu is not going away. The Occupy movement is not going away. And cities across the country and the world have tried to silence people um, using many of these tactics um, to silence people. And even if we can't continue at Thomas Square, we can't continue the type of process we've been conducting, we'll be doing something else. So they, they can keep pushing and they can keep trying to repress our rights, but we're not going to be silent and we can't be silent because this is our opportunity to speak out, our opportunity to work towards change. And, you know, they, they call it exercising your rights for a reason. It's, it's an active participation. And if we don't utilize that, if we don't exercise those rights, then they're going to slip away. They're already trying to take them away through NDAA and, and other legislation that's being passed and, and the brutal repression of the Occupy movement. And, uh, frankly, I think all citizens need to be concerned about that. And whether it's standing on the square at, at Thomas Square or whether it's something else that you do in your own life, I think there will always be protests, and there needs to be more and more of it, um, or else those rights are going to slip away, and we're no longer going to have them.